Well, Jason, you guys have now found um, multiple times ways to attack Zach Gal, who's been having a great year. What did you see from him today that allowed you to have uh, just, I guess we'll start with that home run? Um, free right away, dumped it off. We're having a really tough at bat against him and, and hit a good pitch over the fence. Um, that was nice to you know, do some damage early, but I think um, you know, collectively, you know, Muncie, uh, myself, David, all of us, you know, just having at bats, um, finding ways to take what he gives us. I think that was something we talked about before the game. Was, he's going to make pitches. We just keep making him continue to make pitches and no matter what happens, and, and hopefully. You know, we hit the ones that he does leave us to hit, and mm -hmm. we're able to do that tonight. And you think about the success that this group has had uh, this year, but really in this month of August, what do you point to as to one of the reasons why? Oof. Um, we've got some really, really good players that are having um, career years, but this is what they do. Um, but also surrounding that, um, just keeping each other in line, having fun, competing um, you know, through the ups and downs, leaning on each other, good coaching staff to help us stay focused, and we trust that. I mean, Zach's the starter of the All-Star game this year, on the Cy Young type of year, if you're going to be a finalist or for wins it. You guys going to beat him up now twice. Is there something in the approach? Are you grinding at bats without giving away too much strategy? Like, what do you think is behind the success of it? Um, no, I, think, I don't think there's any secret. Like, he's going to make really good pitches. Uh, you saw him once as a bat. You know, you'll get him, he's going to get you. Um, I think it goes up there with like the Roy Holidays, the Cliff Lees, the Cole Hamels, the guys that I face coming in. Uh, in this league is just try your best to be ready to hit the pitches they leave you to hit. You know they're not going to leave you much and just hang your hat on a you know, one for three or zero for three with a walk and, and hopefully somebody gets them. So I just think um, not complacency but just just not trying to do too much. I hope you can be ready again just for if he does make a mistake and keep making him have to make max effort pitches and I think tonight showed that. Bobby said he didn't have his best stuff. He kind of fought through that outing to give the offense a, a chance to rally. How huge was it to see a young kid like that do that? Yeah, absolutely. It's huge. Um, you know, we were actually kind of just talking about it as well. Like he said, that's his first time facing the team twice. Um, you know, this year faced them a couple of weeks ago at their place. Now you face them again, and that's the game I was accustomed to. I mean, you face you know started sometimes three or four times a year. Um, but for him to battle, keep it close, and go out there and trust the stuff enough, I will, will still be aggressive in the zone and not shy away from that. I think. You gotta respect that, but anytime you get a chance to win, especially against the Ace, you know. Poor homers since the All Star break. Is it a matter of not trying to do too much and just connect them when they're in the zone? Oof. Um, there's a lot of failure in between those homers. Um, but uh, no, just just do your best to be ready. Um, you know, we we understand you know certain guys want to be called on for roles and want to be as ready as we can for that. Uh, a night like tonight, it's nice to see that show up and, and work for us and. Just contribute to the group we got. You know, we know there's going to be different guys every night. We know we got that opportunity, and just not taking those moments for granted. And I appreciate it when it happens. Jason, Freddie, and Mookie have had obviously an outstanding August. How important was it for the rest of you guys to kind of show just how deep this lineup is tonight? Yeah, it's it's huge. It's huge. That's what's gonna that's what it's gonna take all year long. That's what it's gonna take. You know, in October, if we continue to take care of business, you know, not being complacent or taking that for granted. We know we got work to do. Um, but it can't always just be them, and, and I think that's been a big part of their success this year and ours. Is uh, you know we lean on them, but they lean on us, and they let us know they appreciate us when we do well. From your role as like a mentor, what have you seen from James Outman this year? Obviously, started hot, went through a lull. Now he's starting to pick it back up again. What have you told him, and what have you seen from him? Um, I think he's playing the marathon out um, as well as you can play it, like headspace wise. He wants to be in the moment. So um, you know when you struggle, he wants to do well because he wants to help the team win. He wants to figure his stuff out, but he's sticking to what he knows and, and learning every day, um, one day at a time. So I try to tell him just that, like, you've got really good stuff. Keep trusting that. Um, it's going to be tough some days. You're going to look at your video, look at your swing, and say, what was wrong with that? It's just the game being the game. You know, keep playing that and keep leaning on the things that he has to, that he's done to make it here to this point because he's got a really good swing. You see him in the outfield now. Um, to me, he's making some gold glove type plays out there. So. It's fun to watch him uh, just come and prepare every day and want to be right in the middle of it.